Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Connor. You guys can call me Superior today. Uh, I had a super awesome class setup that I found while playing some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 this double XP weekend. I just wanted to bring it to you guys, share it with you guys, uh, and hopefully give you guys some useful tips. So if you guys watched the video I put up yesterday where I finished up my first prestige and just entered the second prestige, um, actually already third prestige, which is absolutely ridiculous, but when I prestige and enter the second prestige, uh, I actually brought through the M8A7 assault rifle. Uh, since I'll be playing a lot of Nuketown and just I find that the best way Way to play Nuketown uh, is kind of play back and don't just completely rush the enemy spawn because obviously then the spawn flips and you just have one big hell of a mess and it just never really works out so that's why I brought the M8 through uh, it is in my opinion it's my favorite assault rifle now I love the burst on it uh, they buffed it a little bit it's got a way faster rate of fire than it did when it, the game first came out. So anyway, this M8 class is amazing, but I do want to say that the M8 is an assault rifle and it is a burst assault rifle at that, which means you know, treat it as such. Watch how I'm playing in this gameplay. I'm not playing too aggressive, but I'm not playing too passive. So definitely don't expect to rush around with this class setup uh, or rush around with this gun in general or really any assault rifle uh, and be able to do just as good as if you were using a Pharaoh or VMP or Vesper or something like that. But before I give you guys the actual class setup, if you guys do find any part of this video useful, if you guys could hit the thumbs up button, I would appreciate that more than you guys would know, uh, and that'd be super, super awesome. Also, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and leave a comment telling me what gun you guys want to see a class setup with next. I was thinking maybe the ICR uh, or a KN44, maybe even the Vesper, which is a submachine gun I've been using a lot recently. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to be throwing up the class setup on your screen right now, and boom, see, obviously, it's M8A7. Uh, and the optic is is kind of up to you. I definitely think that this gun needs some sort of optic on it. If you like ACOG, I wouldn't really recommend it, but you could definitely put that on. Uh, my two favorite is the red dot sight and the ELO sight. I think the ELO sight is absolutely amazing, uh, and it's it's just a great it's a great optic. And if you definitely put the ELO on if you have it, uh, but if you don't, just leave it with red dot. That's perfectly fine. It's one of the first things you unlock, so it's not that difficult to get. Next, I have quick draw on. I think with an assault rifle, especially since it's double XP weekend, and that's really you know the only map I've used this on is Nuketown. Um, so you know having quick draw in case that you come around a corner and someone's there, great to have, and it just makes the gun a lot better in my opinion so the next one is grip obviously it's an assault rifle even though it's a burst assault rifle which means it doesn't have as much recoil as um a fully auto assault rifle i still think grip is worth putting on and then lastly i have rapid fire i have four attachments on this gun and one optic uh which means it only gives me two other points that's literally eight out of the ten uh little slots that you get to create a class so i put rapid fire on this gun even though they did buff the rate of fire i still think rapid fire gives it that almost black ops 2 m8a1 feel to it even though it's the m8a7 it's still extremely similar to the m8a1 from black ops 2 and the rapid fire makes it almost exactly similar to it uh stat wise to the m8a1 in black ops 2 that was extremely overused uh and just an amazing gun it wasn't really overpowered in black ops 2 but it was definitely one of the most popular guns it was one of the main guns used in competitive, and it was definitely by far one of the better guns in the game. And putting rapid fire on it increases that rate of fire uh, to feel the same way. And so for the two perks, I like Flak Jacket because I've been playing Nuketown literally nonstop. It's my favorite thing playing the Chaos Mosh Pit. And Flak Jacket, there's just fucking nades every time you get on anything. Like if you want to cap even your home flag, there's going to be a nade on that. So putting Flak Jacket on, especially if you're going to play Nuketown and try and rank up fast, is the best thing to do. Lastly, I put on Blast Suppressor. Uh, I like to change this up between Blast Suppressor and Tack Mask, depending on what I'm playing. If I'm playing Nuketown, I'm going to want Tack Mask. If I'm playing a bigger map, then I'm going to be jetpacking around the map a lot. Uh, then Blast Suppressor does help out a lot. So, um, something I did want to talk about for this class setup that I don't normally show in a best class setup is the Specialist. For th this class setup, since I am playing a little bit more passively, since it is a burst assault rifle, um, I want to use kind of a long-range Specialist, something like... The Scythe, something like the Annihilator or Tempest or just something like that rather than, um, you know, something that's going to help me in a gunfight like the Ripper um, or just any other close range things like that. So uh, that's pretty much about it, guys. As far as kill streaks go, you can really use whatever you want. For Nuketown, I'd recommend like a Lightning Strike or a Hellstorm to clear out the B flag. Uh, but obviously, you can't go wrong with the haters. It's your entire team benefits from that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys learned anything or are new to the channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button. 
Drop a comment down below letting me know what gun you want to see in the next best class setup video. Thank you so much for checking out the channel today. I've been quad uploading these past few days, so if that's too many videos, uh, just let me know and I'll chill and I'll go to two or three or something like that. So thanks so much for watching the video, guys. I'll catch you all later. Peace out.